G'day guys, Opto Mick Prime here. Got myself a very cool review for you today. Here we have Pacific Rim Kaiju Knife Head. Looking very cool. It's a necker. I think this is going to be a really good feature to any sort of collection you have. Now, I'm going to say straight away, I love this thing. The detail on it is phenomenal. It's cool as, I love how they didn't join the arms up here, the bone structure and everything, that looks cool. The, the paint app is ridiculously like fine detail. I don't know if you can see it from there, but the eyes, just the eyes themselves, the blue just pops, really vibrant. Loving that, the yellow, the yellow stripes down the side and his back and everything. That's awesome. That looks cool. On the back of the arms there. Loving that. The shell on the back, how it actually looks like it could be it could be bone. Like it could be made of bone, I'm not sure. Like it, that looks cool as as well. Loving that. The tail, yeah, rubbery. Doesn't move very much, but still. The, the texture of it, the, there's something about the NECA toys that it just adds that aspect of real life to it, which is just awesome. First, articulation. Articulation's pretty okay, it's good, but it's not great. The Both arms swivel up and down, like you can put, probably put it in a fair, fair few, uh, you know, poses if you wanted to. Um, the elbow goes up and down, there's no hand or wrist movement, there's no waist swivel, blah blah blah. The the legs swivel quite a bit, but I'm going to show you in a minute, that's sort of redundant, it doesn't really sort of help anything. The two little arms, these two little ones, they don't move at all, they're fixed. I wish they had done something with it, maybe we could have put them up here had him up here in front of, like, next to his mouth, sort of thing. Brings me to his mouth. His mouth opens and closes. That's pretty cool. One thing, I'll get in there nice and close. The detail of the mouth is awesome. You can see, like, the structure of the inside of the mouth under the tongue. Rawr, 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 rawr. There. The tongue's, like, it, just, it looks creepy yet awesome at the same time. One thing I've, I've noticed a lot of people complaining about this, in order to stand him up, you have to have both arms down by his side because he's very front heavy and that sort of centers the gravity a lot more. Uh, se sorry, centers the balance a lot more. Um, as soon as you put his arms out in front of him, even just one arm there, look, he just tips over straight away. I, I understand people complain about those things, but at the end of the day, you want it to be as realistic as possible. If you had this giant tail sticking out the back to sort of center, like offset the balance some more, it wouldn't look realistic. It wouldn't look right. So I just put a blob of blue tack down there on the floor, on the glass table. He's standing up fine now. Like, he's not going to tip over. If you're going to have this on display somewhere, just do that. Like, problem solved. No one cares that you've got a bit of blue tack holding it down. Then I'll be comparing it to Ezio Abitore. The feel, the texture, the color, everything about it screams realistic in a way. As realistic as they can get. I don't think they cheaped out on any of the, any of the apps at all. For size, I am Australian and I don't use the imperial measurements so I am going to be using millimetres and at the back there he's standing at about 150, 140 somewhere we've got the Gen 1 Optimus Prime there he's about 150 Ezio is about 180 closer to 190 sort of thing for size comparison I reckon he's pretty cool 
just to be able to put on a mantelpiece or something like that on display somewhere. I seriously recommend this. I haven't actually been able to find one in any Australian stores anywhere, believe it or not. So I did get this one from Big Bad Toy Store. All right, thanks guys. Optomic Prime here, signing out. Like, share, comment, and blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. Bye.